We will solve the following exercise. Exercise is the number 2.9. The sum of the forces Fa plus Fb plus Fc equals 0. The magnitudes Fa is equal to 100 and Fb is equal to 80 newtons. Graphically determine the magnitude Fc and the angle alpha. Okay, so the first thing that I want to do here is to write down the information that the problem is providing for me. This is the first statement. Fc equals 0. F A, the magnitude of Fa is equal to 100 newtons and the magnitude of Fb equals 80 newtons. They are asking me for the magnitude of Fc and the angle alpha. Okay, uh, the first thing that I want to do here is to explain what does this statement means. Fa plus Fb plus Fc equals zero. And I want to do it by using, for example, these three vectors. For when I want to create as a material vectors, graphically speaking, then what I have to do is to create a resultant shape. This shape is generated by the connection of these vectors. But there is a statement that I have to comply and the requirement is that the tail of one of the vectors must be touching the head of one of the other two vectors okay as you can see right here tail must be touching head and tail must be touching head and the result will be the length between these two points in this case this point and this point and as you can see the vector generated must be the other way around the tail must be touching the tail and the head, the head, okay? For when I want this, is, I'm sorry, for when I have this statement, Fa plus Fv plus Fc equals zero, then what I have is this. Bear with me while I create the shape. As you can see, these three vectors are closed and there is no space, there is no space for me to create another one touching anything actually so as you can see the resultant vector between these three is equal to zero and this is what happened in this case fa fc and fb equals zero so i have right here fa right here i have fb and right here i have fc now i'm gonna write down the angle so in this case the angle between fb and fa is equal to 30 degrees so I have right here 30 degrees and I have the magnitude of Fa which is equal to 100 and Fb which is equal to 80. In this case they are asking me for the magnitude of Fb and the angle alpha. This is the angle alpha, the angle generated between Fc and Fa. So Fc and Fa, it's right there. I'm going to call this angle that I don't know yet better maybe I'll use it that later okay once I create it I have created the correct shape for the triangle I'm going to start using trigonometric trigonometrical identities for me to solve the exercise in this case what I want to do is to realize what angle or what what magnitude is higher since i know that fa is equal to 100 and fb is equal to 80 i don't know or i don't know if i can assume this magnitude so i don't know if i have a 90 degrees angle okay because if we want uh, let me explain myself I could have created maybe some equations regarding this magnitude. Maybe using sine, maybe using cosine. But for me to solve that, for example, in the case of sine, the sine of alpha is equal to the opposite catheters divided by the hypotenuse. But I don't know the hypotenuse. I don't know if Fc is higher than 
100 and I don't know if I have a 90 degrees angle for me to start using that kind of equations. So what I have to do right here is to use the cosines law. Okay, so cosines law. In this case, I've memorized this equation. So, Fc evaluated to second power is equal to the other two catheters. In this case, 100 evaluated to a second power plus 80 to a second power minus 2 times 100 times 80. Once again, these two catheters multiplied by the cosine of the opposite angle. Right? Right here I have Fc, so the opposite angle is this one, 30. And that's it. That is the cosine's law. There is uh, some other YouTube channels that show you how to obtain this law, but my way of doing this is by memorizing it. Okay? So Fc equals the square root of this part of the equation. So copy, paste. Okay, so I'm going to use the calculator for me to get that value. So the square root of 100 evaluated to the second power plus 80 evaluated to the second power minus 2 times 100 times 80 multiplied by the cosine of 30. I have to check that I'm using degrees right here. So this is equal to Fc is equal to 50.4340 I always use for significant digits after the comma okay in this case we are talking about here Newton so this is equal to Newton's once I have this value I don't know yet if I have a 90 degree angle so I cannot I still cannot use any of the equations regarding the hypotenuse Okay, so what I'm going to do is to create once again the cosine's law, but in this case not for this part, but for this part. Okay, because I'm going to create that equation that regards the alpha angle and Fc, and I already have Fc, okay? So we're going to do it again. In this case, FB is the magnitude that I'm using. So FB square is equal to FA square plus FC square minus 2FA FB multiplied by the cosine of, in this case, alpha. Okay, this is a pretty easy equation. So I already have this value, this value, this value, this value, and I need this value. I already have this as well. So let me create once again the equation, but using the the correct values. So in this case, FB is 80 squared plus 100 square plus FC. This is equal to 50.43. 40 square minus 2 times 100 times FB. I'm so sorry, this is not FB. Okay, remember that the equation regards the other two catheters. Okay, in this case, I'm solving the equation for FB, so I have to use FA and FC right here. Times 50.4340 multiplied by the cosine of alpha. All right. Then this is not a plus, this is an equal. So 
so sorry for that. And I'm going to solve this equation for this value. And I'm going to do it on the calculator and on the tablet. Okay. So in this case, the cosine of alpha is equal to 100 square plus 50.43 40 square minus 80 square divided by minus 2 um let me let me see i think that this is a mistake okay right here i have this the opposite side right so this is this is positive 2 plus 100 plus uh, i'm so sorry 2 times 100 times 50.4340 and that means that alpha is the cosine evaluated to the minus one power of this copy paste okay alpha is equal to what in this case i have the answer of fc right here so what i'm going to use to use the storage of the calculator for me to save this value right here okay as you can see i press shift storage and i select one of these letters in red okay in this case this is a so for when i look for a this is going to provide for me the information that i just saved okay so the cosine evaluated to minus to the minus one i'm going to use this and 100 evaluated to a second power plus in this case a to the second power minus 80 to the second power divided by 2 times 100 times a that means that alpha is equal to 52.47 seven five degrees okay now i'm going to use it i'm going to use the calculator for me to find the same value using this equation so bear with me in this case 80 already to second power is equal sorry is equal to 100 over to second power plus fc that is still a in my calculator over to second power minus 2 times 100 times a and this is multiplied by the cosine sorry multiplied by the cosine of the value that I need. In this case, I'm going to use a letter. It could be Y, it could be X. I always use X because I'm used to it. And then I'm going to press Shift, Solve. Yep, this is give me A is equal to what? A is equal to this. So, yes, solve for X. Yes, I want to solve this for X. Equal. And as you can see, the calculator have, has provided for me the same answer that I have right here, okay? So, this is how you could solve this exercise. There is one way in which we can see that these two answers are correct, and it, this is by using a uh, software. In this case, I'm going to use Katia B5. So, the thing that I, we have to do is to create a shape and to start doing some measures that it's all all we need so right here i have the values that we need as you can see this software shows in green what i cannot move so what is defined okay this is white so this has a mistake as you can see this is not correct 
connected correctly connected so coincidence and as you can see everything is green remember that you have some tutorials of this tool within the channel for you to learn how to use this this software okay i'm gonna change the values that i have right here this is equal to 30 degrees this is equal to fb is equal to 80 and this is equal to 100 okay okay so what i have to do is to measure the values that i need in this case this one reference and this angle okay as you can see right here i have the 50.434 that we have right here and the angle of 52.47 in this case this is this is using an a round off a round off of this value and this change d7 4 and 8 okay since i have a 5 right here that is an approximation topic so if you want to learn about this i have some tutorials regarding that topic within the first exercises of this book okay Okay, that's all guys this is how you could this exercise could be solved and could be checked